Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for checking in. I'm sure you can hear the background noise, the hustle and bustle, some uh, wildlife, maybe some passing vehicles, and you might think that it's as simple as this. Well, you're filming outside, so these are just the sounds of the world, right? Wrong. Dead wrong, as a matter of fact. You couldn't be more wrong if you tried. It's not the outdoors. That's not a crow or a bird or anything else that you just heard. You know what it is? It's the edge. The edge? That's right. The edge. This pizza from Pizza Hut is back. And when they call it the edge, they don't just mean it in the literal sense, they mean it in the metaphorical sense as well. The edge. The edge of expectations. The edge of the pizza. The edge of reality. The edge of the laws of physics. All this noise that you hear is generated by the pizza itself. If you get yours, you're gonna hear the very same sound effects because it's pushing everything to the limit, and when it reaches the limit, things don't have to make sense anymore. What a waste of two minutes that was, but it did introduce the item that I'm trying out as if we didn't have a title. The Edge. Uh, it is back. I tried this out about a year ago, and uh, I'm actually happy to see it back. I enjoyed the pizza the first time, and uh, today I'm here to just try it out again. We're gonna see, all right, is Pizza Hut maintaining the standards? And uh, is it as good as it was last year? Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with what the Edge is, it is a thin and crispy crust pizza, and the toppings go all the way to the Edge, hence the name. On it, you can get a variety of toppings. I got pepperoni. They call it their pepperoni lovers. And it also comes with garlic and herb seasoning, priced for a large, at least in... Uh, in my neck of the woods was $13, which is actually a little better than I thought these days. I thought it would come to a point where I'd be paying $50 for a pizza. But, um, no, 13 bucks for it. Can't really complain. So, we're just gonna be trying it out again. The main appeal is that the toppings go all the way to the edge. And, uh, thin crust, but loaded with toppings. No real crust at all, it's just all toppings, seasoning, and uh, a pretty light pizza as well. Here's the box, standard Pizza Hut box. No one out pizzas the hut. And I, I, I thought this was kind of funny. It says where pizza earned its crust on the box for the pizza that doesn't even have a crust. So <laughs> I, I just thought that was funny. And taking a look at the pizza itself, here we go. That's the edge. Or as some people call it, the wedge. Yeah, looks pretty much the same as the last time. I remember when I reviewed this last year, it was, um, it wasn't cut properly, but this time around it is, and you can see it's square cut loaded with toppings and very well seasoned as well. So, let's take a slice. Let's pick out a decent slice. We'll, um, we'll, we'll aim for this one anyway. Doesn't look like it's cut the best, but I guess that's the 2022 fast food experience for you. All right, this slice is, is cut better. I actually hired that bird. It's doing uh, translations. So there you can see it. Again, thin crust, pepperoni, and the seasoning. Again, you can get any toppings that you want on it, but it is always going to be seasoned, thin crust, uh, like so. And again, you can see there's no real boundary of crust. It just goes straight to the edge, hence the name. So. You know what's on it, I know what's on it, we all know what's on it. Let's try it out. The Edge Pizza from Pizza Hut, it's back, and let's see how it tastes. It's going in.
you can see the crow stopped uh, communicating while I was eating because there's nothing to translate. I like it. I am a fan, uh, definitely a fan of it. I enjoyed it last year, and I would say that if you liked it the last time that it was out, um, you're gonna like it again. Pizza Hut, I know, can sometimes be hit or miss these days in terms of items, item quality, etc. But this time around, I think they definitely, they hit the mark on this, they hit the mark the last time, uh, but again, we know in the span of a year, uh, things can change. Obviously, you've got inflation to deal with, you've got the supply issues. A lot of people say with fast food, the quality keeps going down. That's why I like to retry these sorts of things, because, yeah, hate to admit it, but things can really change in a year, and uh, unfortunately, they usually change for the worst. But this is one of those items that has definitely maintained the standards, and I'm happy to see that. For $13, again, you're getting a decent-sized pizza, um, a large, Good amount of slices, and while it is thin crust, um, it is definitely light, but there's a nice bake to the bottom, so it always has a nice little crisp and crunch in every single bite. But it is loaded with the toppings, and um, you're definitely getting what you pay for, and then some, in my opinion. Uh, the quality of the pepperoni is pretty good, considering it's Pizza Hut. A little bit of spice in that pepperoni, um, but definitely a good amount of it in every single bite, and... Um, Likewise, there's that garlic seasoning on it, that garlic herb seasoning. It just blends in so nicely with the cheese. Um, sauce always has that little sweet hint to it, which just ties everything together. And all in all, it's just a pizza that has a lot to it, a lot of toppings, goes to the crust, and um, I'm happy with it. Again, the cheese is good, a good amount of pepperoni, quality of the pepperoni is fine, and... Um, I like the seasoning that's on the pizza as well. That garlic and herb seasoning is quite solid. I gotta give it a thumbs up there. And, uh, like I said, still pretty light. So you could definitely have a few slices of this, you know, but you're getting a good amount of it too. So it's not one of those pizzas where you'll just eat one slice and then that'll fill you up or anything. Um, each slice, I would say, is pretty light. Um, but again, it still packs a punch. It has a good amount of, of flavor, toppings, and all that to it. So, all in all, I'm happy with it. It tastes good. Quality is still good. Price is good, which, uh, again, is a rarity at this point in time. But uh, I'm happy to see the edge back. Last year, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I was hoping that they would bring it back, and indeed they did. So, out of 10, what am I going to be rating the Edge Pizza from Pizza Hut? Out of 10, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Happy with it, maintaining the standards. A good pizza, so if you want to get it, it's there for you to get. And, uh, get it while the getting's good. An enjoyable pizza, Pizza Hut, you did good. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.